What's going on guys, PXCam20 back here with a brand new video. We are here back at Fuji International Speedway. And I know, I know, the last video I made, we were at Fuji and we just got demolished as we lost about 2,000 driver rating points on the uh, <laughs> on the GT uh, driver rating standings. But uh, we were starting here in 8th place as we were in the Porsche. I decided to do this race again as uh, I just love this track. I just can't get enough of it. So um, me being the stubborn person I am, I wanted to do this race again and just try to finish in a good position and increase our driver rating points again. As, uh, again, we're going to be... Uh, fighting against some uh, other Porsches, some Huracans, and some Vipers, it looks like. So, uh, coming into the race, I'm feeling a little bit of confidence. Um, hopefully, we can at least finish in the top five or even get a podium for these next two races. So, uh, let's see what happens. Now, before we jump to the race, if you guys really enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel. Anyways, that's enough promoting myself. Let's jump straight into the race. So coming into the race, we see we are here in 8th place as we are in the 911. Other cars decided to go with the Mercedes, the Huracan, and also some other 911s that we're uh, coming to the grid now. So uh, waiting for the start as we are going to get a rolling start here right about now. We get the start confirmation and we are a go as we are starting in 8th place as we are on the straightaway now heading into turn number 1. We're right behind the 7th place cars. We're going to fast forward here. Stay right behind them in the slit as we head into turn number 1. You see 7th place tries to make a move onto the inside as we are staying right behind them. We almost get loose coming out of that corner there as we're heading into turn number two and into turn number three. Coming into turn number three, we're gonna try to break as late as we can to try to stay with the uh, Viper right ahead of us. You can see top three are starting to get away from us now as two cars run a little bit wide coming out of turn number three as we jump up a little more into the left. So coming into turn number 10 here, heading to the final sector, you see the two cars ahead of us are fighting with each other and the Viper actually gets pinched out wide as we're going onto the inside. We're gonna try to make a move onto the inside, but we break very very early so we avoid contact with the Viper but that allows the car right behind us to get on our back bumper as we head into turn number 15 coming out of turn number 15 heading into turn number 16 we're trying to get a good exit here as we are losing ground to the Viper as we head into turn number 16 you see the Porsche just comes out of nowhere makes a very very desperate lunge there going to turn number 16 you see the replay here he just tries to make the lunge there breaks right ahead of me and we had nowhere to go as we bumped into the back of him as we come out of turn number 16, leading us down into the straightaway that's going to take us into lap number 2. We go to the inside as we follow the slit stream of the cars right ahead of us, switch off to the outside, and you see the Huracan is gashing up to us. We're going to go side by side with the Huracan as we come into turn number 1, break very, very late, miss our breaking point, and we almost ram into the back of 7th place. As we actually make contact with someone, as we try to get back onto the track there, not sure who that was, I think it was a Huracan. As you see, 8th place, the 8th place car that tried to make a position on us on the 16th corner on the last lap is able to overtake us as we head into turn number 3. Fast forwarding here, we're seeing that the two cars right ahead of us actually get a penalty there. So coming out of turn number 6, leading us into turn number 10. We're going to break right before the Dunlop sign. Break very, very late, trying to make a move onto the inside. But you see there's a car coming very, very fast onto the inside. Makes contact with the two cars ahead of him. And we're beating and banging here as we're coming out of turn number 11 into turn number 12. Let's see exactly what the heck happened here. As you can see, the blue Porsche is right behind us. Brakes very, very late. I think he just missed his braking point. Bumps out the two Porsches right ahead of us. And then from there, me and him are just beating and banging there. As he's, uh, see right behind us, a couple cars get tangled up there too. And uh, coming down into turn number 13, into turn number 14, we're still right next to the blue Porsche there. As you see, the black Porsche ahead of us gets very, very loose as he still has his one second penalty as we come into turn number 15 now coming to turn number 15 we're going side by side with the black Porsche but he's got a better advantage than us as we head into turn number 6 and we get bumped out from behind there and you see 7th and 8th are now going side by side 7th Porsche is 8th wide a little bit and we're able to make the overtake on the blue Porsche now coming down to the penalty zone 7th place has to serve his penalty as we fast forward here down the straightaway now leading us into lap number 3 Coming to turn number one, you see they're ca catching up to us really, really fast. You see the blue Porsche is trying to make a move onto the inside. We give him the space, and he's able to make the overtake on us as we come out of turn number one. We're going to try to cover the car right behind us as we're going side by side now into Coca Cola. Going side by side, we're going to keep the inside here as we're right next to the Huracan. Able to hold our position as we're going to try to squeeze in front of the Huracan. We're able to do so. And we maintain eighth position as we come into turn number five, leading us into turn number six. Let's just try to set our sights now on the blue Porsche ahead of us. As you can see, six and everybody else has just ran away with the race now. So we are fo uh, fighting now for seventh place as we come down the straightaway, leading us into turn number 10. So jumping up into uh, lap number four now, we're just 
trying to see if we can gain as much time as we can on this 7th place car. We actually miss our breaking point. Break very, very late, trying to make the lunge of the century, but we back out of there. Almost made contact with the blue Porsche, but luckily we didn't. As we come down the straightaway, leading us into turn number 3. Gonna see if we could try to gain any time on 7th place and try to make a last minute attempt of an overtake. As we head into the final part of the final lap here. As we come down into turn number 5. So coming into the final sector now. We're very, very close to the blue Porsche. We're just not close enough to make any type of attempt of an overtake there as we come into uh, turn number 16. Coming to turn number 16, you see the Lambo tries to move into the inside. He gets a really bad exit. We get a cut back on him. And we're going to go side by side as we head down to the line. Passing the penalty zone now as we're going to go side by side. We're trying to get into the slit stream of the blue Porsche as he's moving into the inside. That's going to help us out. Going down to the line. Who's going to win? Is it going to be the engine of the Lambo or our slit stream? And it's the engine of the Lambo. As he was able to edge us out by almost half a second there. And we finished in ninth place for that race as we jump into race number two. So coming into race number two, you see now we're starting in fifth position for this race. And uh, hopefully we can at least go shoot for a podium, if not for a win, as we have four laps to do so as we come down to the race. So starting the race now, going down the start finish line, we're right behind the Brazilian. And we're going to stay right behind him on the slit stream. So we're going to try to just break as late as we can, but not too late to make contact with them. But just to stay with them as we come into turn number one. Turn, going to turn number one, the Porsche actually outbreaks himself. Is able to make the overtake on the R8. And he makes a great overtake there. As we come out of turn number one, the R8 is now demoted into fourth place as we set his sights on him. Runs a little bit wide as we come into turn number six now. And you can see third place goes a little bit wide too. He gets a little loose. And now he's going to go side by side with the Audi. So there's two Brazilians going side by side as they head into turn number 10 now. Coming into turn number 10, breaking before the Dunlop sign. We're going to try to make a move onto the inside. So he leaves the gap a little bit open. We put our car in there as we're going side by side now with the Brazilian. And he tries to squeeze us down on turn number 12. There's He almost rammed us into the grass there as we head into turn number 13, leading us into turn number 14. The Brazilian gets a good exit there as he makes a move onto the inside. We're trying to make a move onto the inside of the Audi R8. We get boxed in there and we come out of here and you see right behind us two cars make contact and one of the cars actually goes spinning so let's see what happened here. The Mercedes makes contact with us and the, and the Audi R8 on the outside and then he goes a little bit wide coming out of that corner and actually spins out the R8 as we head into turn number 16. Coming into turn number 16 we're trying to get a cut back now on the Brazilians. We get a little too good of a run, make contact with them a little bit, actually help him out. And now we're heading down the straightaway as we're going in his slip stream. We should be able to at least try to make an overtake going into turn number one as we should have a better top end speed as we come down the straightaway. Following him on the slip stream, he gives us a little bit of a space onto the inside. So we're going to move on to the inside underneath the white line. We have to go back up to the track, but he's just keeping us pinched down there. He's not giving us any edge, any room. And we have to force our way back onto the track as we almost go into the grass. They're heading into turn number one. A very dirty move from the Brazilian, but hey, if that's how he wants to race, I'll, I'll race him like that. If, as we come into turn number three. So coming into turn number three, you see they're going side by side behind us as the Canadians able to make overtake on the Brazilian. He makes a little bit of contact with us as we come into turn number four and into turn number five. Coming out of turn number four now, heading into turn number five. We're gonna try to maintain the inside here to cover our spot as we head into turn number six. But the, as we try to cover our spot heading to turn number six, the car right behind us actually makes an overtake, but he goes in a little bit too deep and we're able to make the cutback going out of turn number six. And we're able to maintain third place as we, not the final corner, but the final sector heading into uh, turn number 10 now. We're going to defend the inside as we're going to try to break as late as we can past the Dunlop sign. We're able to hold the inside here as we come out, able to pinch out the uh, Mercedes right behind us. And we're able to maintain third place as we head into the beginning sector of, uh, the, of uh, lap number two. So coming into the final sector now. We're trying to just maintain our spot as we come into lap number three. Now heading down the straightaway, you see the car right behind us is gaining a huge head of, huge head of steam as we're trying to protect the inside, but we can't do so. And the Mercedes is trying to make a move on the inside as we head into turn number one. We try to make a cut back here as we come out of turn number one, leading down into the straightaway. And we're able to do so, but we don't have the power to get ahead of the Mercedes to try to go ahead of him and go into turn number three. So we're going side by side now as we head into turn number three. The Mercedes tries to push us out wide. We go a little bit wide as we come into turn number four. And that invites the Brazilian behind us to give us a little bit of a bump. We make a little bit of a bump with the Canadian. We get pumped from behind from the Brazilians into turn number six. Try and make the same move that the Mercedes tried making the lap prior, but we're unable to as he covered the inside really well. Coming down this long straightaway, that's going to lead us into turn number 10. So coming down the straightaway, we're uh, right behind the Mercedes now as we're in the slit here. 
passing the Dunlop sign. We're trying to break as late as we can. We've got to make a move on to the inside, but there's another car on the inside of us. And you can see right here, we have three cars going into turn number 10. And that is not going to end well. As you can see, he just bumps both of us out there. The Brazilian pushes us out wide. And he's able to gain third place from us in the Mercedes. As we go back to the replay, let's see what he did here. He just goes break right after Dunlop sign, and I think he got a voice from somewhere, like a voice from an angel, to go for that gap. Or... And if you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver, because we are competing. We are competing to win. So that makes sense. So he tries to make the gap there and just forces us out wide and is able to get two places in the span of one corner as he was able to forcefully put his way into the uh, position there and push us and the Mercedes out as we come down into the final sector. now. As we're trying to make our time back up on the on the Brazilian right ahead of us, and let's see if we could do so on this final lap. So coming to the final lap now, we're on the straightaway. We're getting the slip stream on the Brazilian that forced us down and took us out a little bit on the turn number ten. We're a little frustrated with him as we head into turn number one, and I try to squeeze him down. We make a little bit of contact. I have to say that was my fault. I tried just aggressively try to get ahead of him as we head into turn number one, but. We're still right behind him as we come into turn number three now. We're on the slip stream with the Brazilian. We're trying to just find any way to get around him now as we are starting to get a little aggravated with him as we come into turn number four and turn number five. Coming out of turn number four, heading into turn number five, we're still right behind the Brazilian as we come into turn number six. We're a little too far back to make any type of move. So I'm going to try to get a good exit here so we can stay right behind him and probably make an overtake heading into turn number ten as that's going to probably be our best chance to make any type of overtake now. So stay right behind him on the slip stream. We're going past the Dunlop sign. Break as late as we can on the Dunlop sign, but he defends the inside. So we're going to try to get a good entrance in so we can get a good exit here. And we're able to do so, but we make contact with him as he's able to hold down the inside now. He parks on the apex. Coming to the right-hander now, that's going to lead us into turn number 14 and turn number 15 for the final time. We're right behind the Brazilian. He goes out a little bit wide heading into turn number 15. And for some reason, I get a little voice in my head and I see a gap. Take it away, Ayrton. And if you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver because we are competing. We are competing to win. So I see the gap there. I make the move there. And me and the Brazilian actually get tangled up there as we make a little bit of contact. We make contact with the Mercedes. He goes out wide. And now we're trying to make it way into lap turn number 16. As you can see, we get punted out wide again by another car. And we're able to hold our third place position as we come down into the straightaway, leading us into the final time down the straightaway. Going to the start finish line. We're gonna be able to hold off third as you see the car right behind us is gaining time on us. He's on the slip stream. We're gonna go side by side. Another photo finish. We're third and we're able to hold it. We're able to get third place on the Brazilian right up behind us. And uh, very, very entertaining. Two races there as we were able to bring up our driver rating up a little bit more than what it was. But uh, yeah, very, very fun races. Um, again, got very aggressive with that other Brazilian on that second race as uh, he was just. I don't know, the, the way I like to look at it is if you want to race me a certain way, I'm going to race you back a certain way. So um, that's just the way I roll. But uh, anyways, if you guys really enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. And if you guys found a lot of entertainment, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.